Okay, let's all admit it. Out of the box, macOS Finder is kind of a dud. It's got icons everywhere, hardly any useful information on the screen for us to use. Hi everyone, I'm Mike. I can help with macOS Finder. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up, let's get through the goals for today. We're going to set the icons in a grid. They are going to conform to the width of the Finder window. We're also going to put the folders at the top of the listing. And let's go ahead and enable the folder path so we can see where we are and where we can go and the number of items in each folder along with the available storage. Along the way, we might run into a few extra tips, so stay tuned. Okay, so now before we jump into any of this stuff, the very first thing we need to do is take our first visit to the view pull down menu and make sure that as icons is selected. This will make things a little easier down the road, so just hang in there. Okay, so our first stop is going to be the Finder pull-down menu, go to Settings, and here we are, Finder Settings. In the General tab, you've just got some pretty obvious things. One thing I'll point out to you to consider is under Finder Windows Show, Recents is there by default. That might be of value to you, but you might want to be a person who just starts off in your Documents folder and go from there. It's up to you. Consider it. When it comes to tags, if you use tags, good for you. Um, but that's a kind of a whole video in and of itself. Over here on the sidebar, this is where you can configure some out of the box settings for the Finder sidebar there. But what we're going to focus on is the advanced page. Now, right there, you're going to see several different things. Depending upon the level of geekness that you possess, you might want to show the file name extensions. Um, you might want to show before changing those extensions. Show warning before removing all of the other obvious things there. Take a look. Decide for yourself. Me, I like to see the extensions. And the place we're going to focus most of our attention here is under the Keep Folders on Top. In Windows, when sorting by name. That'll be important. We'll get to that part, but it will be very helpful. Now you can also decide to set this up on your desktop. I do, why not? And here's another bonus tip since we're right here. When performing a search, search this Mac. So if you're in a folder, and you're typing something, you probably want to just search what's in the folder you're at. You can do that by clicking here and search the current folder. That way you get a little bit more intuitive action when you actually perform a search. Now, if you decide that the folder doesn't have what you're after and you would like to widen the search, it can be easily done right there in the search window. Trust me. So let's go ahead and close out of the Finder settings since we're finished there. Now let's head back to the View pull down menu again. And let's slide down a little farther here to Show Path Bar. With that enabled, you'll notice down at the bottom here, there is now a representation of the folder structure that takes you to where you are now. Now, if you want to, you can click one of these and end up in that folder. And then you can bounce back into where you were before. So see, this kind of gets you a little bit of quick navigation. Very helpful. Let's go back to the view pull down menu and also Let's take a look at the show status bar. Granted, there's not a tremendous amount of information in there, 
but it is helpful. It still shows 17 items in there and it also shows you how much storage you have left. Let's also jump back in here for kind of a bonus tip. You'll see in here the show preview in the drop down. And what that opens is a small area here. Right now it's blank. What good is that? Well, for instance, if I want to know a little bit more about the report that I have here, you can find out a little bit of information. Granted, it's the folders or the, the page document size. It's also just the created, modified, last open dates. Not incredibly helpful. But say you want to know a little bit more about this image. It gives you the type of image it is. It also tells you what the size of the image is, including the dimensions here in pixels. So there's quite a bit of information. Also, down at the bottom, there's some nifty little um, tools for you to rotate or to mark it up and that sort of thing. So see, the preview becomes actually kind of helpful. OK, so now let's get to the part where all the magic comes together and happens into a nicely organized Mac OS Finder. And it's right under the View pull down menu again. Head down to Sort By and Sort By Name. Now, our folders are listed on top, and our icons are neatly set to a grid. If I change the size of the Finder window, the icons react much nicer. So let's take a moment to see how we can customize the preview pane. What you need to do is click the File pull down menu, slide down to Show Preview Options, but it's grayed out. Why is it grayed out, you ask? Because first, you need to select something. Yeah, you need to select something. Now, if you pull down menu, slide down to Show Preview Options, and then you get some options. Let's take a quick look. There are many for you to explore, but take a look and see which ones you think make sense for how you work. Do you need all the creative modified dates? If you don't unselect something, if you end up missing it, come visit here again and set it up any way you want. But the main thing is make sure it fits what you want. And it can be a powerful tool built right here in Finder. So I invite you to click around and make this yours. OK, hopefully these settings make macOS Finder just a little more useful for you. Now, did you have a favorite tip here? If so, leave a comment. Did I get you stuck somewhere? Leave a brick bat in the comments. But anyway, be safe, have fun, keep learning, and I hope to see you next time.